Hello everyone! Welcome to Learn and Share! We have another ratio word problem using model drawing. Problem 2. The ratio of Angela's apples to Dave's apples was 3 is to 5. When Angela gave 30 of her apples to Dave, the ratio of Alice's apples to Dave's apples became 1 is to 5. Find the number of apples Angela had at first. Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. So here are the problem solving steps that I used. Understand the problem. Plan what strategy you're going to use. Solve the problem using your strategy and check your answer. Step one, understand the problem. In this problem, since we have to deal with Angela's apples and Dane's apples, it will become easier if we choose some letters to represent them. Let's represent Angela's apples by A and Dave's apples by D. What is given to us? We are given the ratio of Angela's apples to Dave's apples was 3 is to 5. This means A is to D equals to 3 is to 5. When Angela gave 30 of her apples to Dave, the ratio of Alice's apples to Dave's apples became 1 is to 5. So new A is to new D equals to 1 is to 5. And we have to find the number of apples Angela had at first. This means we also have to find A. Step two, plan. Since this is a question related to ratios, I'm thinking of using model drawing for this. Step three, solve. Initially, the ratios of Angela's apples to Dave's apples was three is to five. So here it is. A is to D equals to three is to five. Later, the ratio becomes one is to five. Let's represent both these ratios with blocks. A is to D equals to 3 is to 5. What this means is, for 3 units of A, D will have 5 units. The total units in this ratio, 3 is to 5, is 8. New A is to new D equals to 1 is to 5. What this means is, for one unit of new A, new D will have 5 units. The total units in this ratio, 1 is to 5, are 6. According to our question, the total number of apples should be the same. This means that the total units in both the ratios should also be the same. Let's try to achieve this. In order to achieve this, we will have to find the multiples of 8 and 6 and find out what multiple is common. 8 has the multiples 16 and 24. 6 has the multiples 12, 18, and 24. This means if we increase the units in ratio 3 to 5 two times and the units in ratio 1 is to 5 three times, we can get an equal number of units. First, let's take the ratio 3 is to 5. For every 3 units of A, there will be 5 units of D, 
which is shown here. If we put another set of three units, we have to put a set of five units for D. So now the total units in the ratio of three is to five is 16. Now let's add another set of three units to A. There will give us a set of five units of D. So the total units in the ratio three is to five is 24. Now we have to increase the units in the second ratio three times. For the first time, we will put one unit for new A, and we will have to put a set of five units for new D. Total units in the ratio, one is to five, become 12. For the second time, if we put one more unit for new A, and we will have to put another set of five units for new D. The total units in this ratio is 18. For the third time, if we put one more unit for new A, we will have to put another set of five units for new D. The total units in the ratio one is to five is now 24. Yay, we got both the ratio's units equal. What we understand from this model is that Angela had nine units to begin with, so she was left with four units after the transfer. Dave had 15 units to begin with, and he had 20 units in the end. This means A lost five units to become new A, and D gained five units to become new D. But the actual transfer was 30 apples. This means 5 units corresponds to 30 apples. 1 unit will correspond to 30 divided by 5 equals to 6 apples. Since Angela had 9 units at first, the number of apples she had equals to 9 times 6 equals to 54. So Angela had 54 apples at first. Yay, we solved the problem. Step four, look back and check. We can start with the information that we found. That is, A had nine units of apples and D had 15 units of apples. We also found that earlier, one unit corresponds to six apples. So, A has nine times six equals to 54 apples. And D has 15 times 6 equals to 90 apples. Now, Angela gave 30 apples to Dave. So now A has 54 minus 30 equals to 24 apples. And D has 90 plus 30 equals to 120 apples. The new ratio of Alice's apples and Dave's apples equals to 24 is to 120. And the simplified ratio becomes one is to five. So this means our answer is correct. Yay, we solved the problem. Do you want to try another strategy? Here I have listed all the strategies. You can choose a strategy and try to solve the problem with it. For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed my videos. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.